Hi, welcome back. I'm just checking to make sure that this thing is still recording for my applications. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so anyway, in the last video, uh, I kind of told you that I played the track uh, once through, and I told you to try counting to four along with the track through it. And uh, hopefully if you did that, hopefully that sounded a bit more natural. It sounded like we were dividing the music into measures a bit more accurately, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to play this one more time, and now I'm going to count along with it. Here we go. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, a one, a two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one. That sounded a lot better, I thought. That sounded much more natural, much more, uh, you know, uh, much more appropriate than counting in three. So uh, hopefully, uh, maybe you felt the same way. Hopefully, hopefully you did. Uh, really, this piece, uh, I can just kind of tell you mainly from experience, but this is in 4-4. Four, four. It, it would be written out in 4-4. Four, four. Um, so it's just the most accurate uh, subdivision of of the measure. So anyway, I'm going to write that down and actually, you know what, this looks fine. I'll just keep this with 4-4 four, four and swing. But uh, so now we're just really trying to get one measure plus a beat really is what we're trying to get right at 17 seconds. So let's try to figure that out right now and I'm going to start it at 13 seconds. Here we go. Two, three, four, one, two, three, Okay, let's one more time on that. Two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so now we've listened to that a bunch of times. What do we do on beat one of the measure we're trying to get? And keep in mind, we're just trying to get what the saxophone and trumpet do. We're not worrying about the piano, not worrying about trying to write down what the bass does. Um, you know, that's kind of telling us other information about this piece right now, but we just want to write down what the saxophone and trumpet are doing. Um, so let's, uh, let's, uh, you know, try thinking about what happens on beat one. Well, let's just think about it without the music. Go on, a, two, three, four, one, bop, boo, ba, do, bop. Okay. So it sounds like, how I remember the piece, we actually rest on beat one. We have a quarter rest on beat one. So I'll just kind of write that down right now. So it sounds like on beat one, we've got a quarter rest. And now I'm actually going to kind of spread this out. I'm going to divide this up into, I guess, the eight beats that we're trying to get. We've got one, two, three, Four, and really we're only trying to get five beats and I'll put one right there and my measure actually no I'll make the measure blue measure the bar like that so that'll be our bar line okay so on beat one, we just have this rest. So let's think about this. So if we remember again, one, two, three, four, one. Bop, boo, ba, do, bop. That's what we're trying to get. One more time. One. Bop, boo, ba, do, bop. Okay? So what happens on beat two now? Well, listen to it one more time. One. Bop, boo, ba, do, bop. Or actually, I did that wrong. One. Bop, boo, ba, do, bop. We just have a downbeat here, don't we? So, just had to Man, look all weird. Okay, so we just have a downbeat here, right? So this is really one, bop, one, bop. So just a downbeat. So I would write just a quarter note. One, bop. Boo ba doo bop. Now what do we have on three here? Well we've got oh three and four. 
So we've got two, three, and four, one. That's what the rhythm sounds like to me, at least. That's how I remember it. So on beat three, it sounds like we've got two eighth notes, like that. So we've got our downbeat, and then we've got our upbeat. And I'll actually write that in right now in what we've been, the color we've been using for those. So on beat three, we've got our down, and then we've got big upbeat, like that. And now on beat four, what happens? So we want bop, boo, ba, do, bop. Well, it sounds like on beat four, we just uh, keep playing the, uh, we just, uh, we just have a downbeat again. We don't have any upbeats or anything. So it's just a quarter note. Write that in. Sounds like we just have a quarter note, like that on beat four. And now what do we have on beat one, finally? So let's sing it through one more time. One. Bop, boo, ba, doo, bop. All right. Well, it sounds like, again, we just have our downbeat, don't we? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's one. Bop. Boo, ba, doo, bop. That's, yeah, that's it. And then we don't really, I'll finish this measure out. We don't really have to care about the rest of this measure, but we've got quarter rest and our half rest right there. And I should have done that in blue, but then we're done. So, um, so anyway, uh, let's put that record back on and see if, See if we're right, pretty much. Here we go. I'll start this at 13 again. There. Sounds pretty close. Let's uh, back it up a little bit more. So it sounds uh, sounds like we got this right. And uh, I do kind of want to mention that this kind of way that we transcribe, this is actually uh, the, uh, I live in Colorado, and uh, the uh, kind of one of the big guys at the University of Colorado's jazz program really recommends that this is the way to transcribe for him. He says you should listen to a solo so many times that you can just kind of go back over it in your head kind of listen to it, you you know, sing it to yourself, and that's how you're figuring it out. Like, you still have the CD there, you still have the music there that you can kind of access, but the point is, you've listened to it so many times, you've kind of uh, orally memorized it, I guess. So, uh, anyway, uh, and that's kind of what, what we've done in this example, and it took us three whole videos to get through it. Um, I'm going to do, and this is, I, I just wanted to introduce this in this... Uh, in this how to how to read music playlist right now because we've been doing all these examples where I've just kind of made up rhythms and then we've figured out how it sounds but I think it's very important to be able to go the other way to hear something and be able to write down what it would look like and um, in addition to that I think that transcription in general is just a, in you know a really valuable tool every musician should have. Uh, absolutely every musician should uh, know how to transcribe really well and really professionally, I feel. And actually, I'm, I haven't done this yet as of this recording, but hopefully by the time you're watching it, I will have gotten this done. I'm going to be doing a, a, a pretty extensive playlist on how to transcribe. It's really going to give you a very clear method where if you have... Uh, any type of aspirations of playing jazz uh, or, um, you know, or playing in rock bands or, you know, doing uh, any arranging, uh, I'm going to give you some great transcription methods in, uh, in another playlist I've got going. So if you're at all interested in, uh, you know, really in, in any of those areas, uh, you should really check out that playlist. And hopefully by the time you're watching it, this uh, that playlist will 
at least be started, if not already done. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.